Well, welcome back, everybody. It is day two of uh, survival farming here. And uh, speaking of that, let's take a quick little nap. I did forget to sleep. So uh, let's do that real quick. We'll wake up at 8 o'clock. So we'll skip to the next day. And we do have seasons on. So now it should be... September. So it's 8 o'clock on a September day. Look out the window of our cabin. And uh, I cut down a few trees to get started. Even preloaded the uh, little tractor to get our workday started. Hop out here and see what the temperature is. Go to our weather report. And it's looking like 68 degrees Fahrenheit. And all sunny. Gets a little cloudy in the afternoon. So no rain in the forecast. Looking good. Yeah. Plans for day two on survival here will be delivering some more logs. We're going to load up all this, deliver it. And then I'd like to uh, see if we have enough money to maybe get a tractor and a plow and maybe get our first field uh, put in. And there's one other option. If we want to stick to uh, maybe a production to keep us going through the winter and then maybe have enough money to start our first field, we could, you know, winter's right around the corner. We're going to be dealing with snow. So this is one of the other options. I was thinking under productions, we got the maple syrup mod, which will go real nice here in the woods since we're in a not, you know, it's all wooded on this map. But uh, cost 16,000. So we're going to have to cut down quite a few trees to uh, get enough to put that down. But all it requires is water and it'll provide maple syrup from the buckets and uh, pallets to sell. Now the only downside of that is the selling point. We would have to purchase the selling point for it as well, which is a thousand dollars. I don't think the sell everything will take it. So we would have to place this to be able to sell it. So 16,000 total. So we'll, we'll decide what we're going to do when we get there. But first, uh, let's get all this taken care of. Got this thing loaded up real good. And for the sake of uh, the repetitiveness, I will have it time-lapsed while we're doing all this forestry work. So uh, sit back, enjoy the tunes, and let's bring in that money.
All right. So, everything you just seen that happened, uh, I thought my mic was unmuted, so I messed up there. <laughs> so I'm going to explain what I was doing. You saw me looking in the menu. Um, I was deciding whether to do the tractor route, and then I just kept thinking, you know what? This is going to bring us money all the time throughout the survival series. Winter's right around the corner, so I went ahead and put down the maple syrup production. And then you saw me purchase the uh, spray paint so I could mark the perimeter of what I want to clear out during the winter time. So once winter's over, we can claim this, uh, you know, we'll make our first field to farm. So I made a perimeter and spray painted each tree green that I want to cut. And then, of course, we'll cut the ones down in the middle. We'll sell all that. I'm going to get these filled up with water. And uh, we'll go from there. So I apologize about not explaining that. I forgot to unmute my darn mic. So, all right, we're going to go back to the time lapse and get some work done. Enjoy.
so we got quite a bit cleared out. We're gonna leave it like it is for now. And uh, just top off the maple syrup production real quick with water. And the plan is to just at least get that area cleared out, which shouldn't be a problem uh, during the winter months. And then by then we should have plenty of money to uh, get all the things we need when spring hits and get our first field going. Maybe we'll even be able to plow the field right before winter's over and at least get the groundwork ready. So hopefully the uh, maple syrup pays off. I think it will. I mean, all we gotta do is provide water. And yeah, unfortunately we do have to pay for our water because we're out in the middle of nowhere. There's not really any lakes or streams or ponds nearby. So we do have to pay $208 for every 2,082 liters we purchase. Which kind of stinks, but at the same time we're We'll get all that money back easily with the uh, forestry. Uh, I mean, the entire map is covered in trees, so we'll never run out of trees to cut down. All right, this should be close to finishing it up. And she's finally finished. All right. So we got a full greenhouse and maple syrup production ready for next time. We'll just top that off. Drop the trailer. Just park her up right here for the day. And that is going to do it for episode two. Uh, like I said, we'll be uh, fast-forwarding time to the next month. We take a look at the calendar. We're in the month of September. So uh, we will be in October. And when we look at the weather forecast, looks like we do have some rain in October and November. So we, I mean, we might have enough money to get the tractor and plow. Uh, before winter hits so that you know and I do want to have like a storage some type of shed or barn something to store the equipment in I'm trying to you know in real life you wouldn't want to leave your equipment sitting out all winter long in the snow so we'll try to get a storage shed as well I got a couple couple picked out when the time comes if we look under sheds found a couple of nice modded ones we got this one for seven thousand pretty good size be able to fit lots of stuff in there and then we got some smaller ones that are 1500 for that only 900 dollars for that 1200 for this one so uh yeah we'll definitely have some storage put up before the snow hits all right ladies and gentlemen thank you again for watching make sure you hit like and subscribe and I look forward to episode three, which will be month number three, I suppose. All right, we'll catch you next time. It's Big Rig Frosty Gaming. See you later.